Cruising fam, this is me, Ed. I have an exciting episode lined up for us today. This episode is all about day two of the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. Yes, I am a graduate. We're gonna be talking about what we did on day two. We're talking about track, talking about some of the different things that we did as well so that you uh, can get an idea of what you will experience when it's your turn to go. I need you to do me a favor though like subscribe and click that bell notification to be notified whenever i produce a new episode also in this episode it's going to be a modification it's not a hard modification it's going to be an easy modification but i think it adds character to the car well you guys i had a great time at the driving school day two was awesome it was i was a little, had a little bit more energy day two than i did day one the time lapse kind of got to me a little bit i uh, in michigan we are three hours in front of las vegas so i was always i felt like i was always just kind of dragging a little bit but on day two, we did track work. If you are a person that loves the track, you have to go to this school. You literally have to go to this school. And that's the truth. You have to go to this school. On day two, what they'll do is they'll put you in different groups, the medium group, the faster group. That's the way I looked at it, the slower, medium, and the faster group. I found myself in the medium group. I by no means was in that fast group. Uh, one, of my, one of the guys that, that I met, as soon as I got to uh, the school was a gentleman by the name of Ian, Ian and Bobby. You met Bobby on the first episode of this particular series. That was I didn't interview Ian because I just didn't want to do a vlog, but Ian is a special guy. He can drive that car. I told Ian, I said, I got to put you on my channel so you'll see his car uh, popping up as I'm as I'm speaking. But he has a um, he is a phenomenal driver and the the track experience for Ian was awesome. I just loved watching Ian come back in from his track experience. He was so hyped when he would come back in. I like the skill stuff. What we did was we did launch control. We learned how to do launch control. That to me, you guys, was awesome. Just to put your foot on the brake and put your foot on the gas and take your foot off, man, and let that thing go. And so I really enjoyed that. I also enjoy autocross. We did autocross, and autocross was a to me was was a, was the best of both worlds where we were we had some skill things some speed things and it was just i really enjoy autocross <laughs> what they did in the school was they had us uh, compete and so we were competing for the best time so i came in second by some tenths in my group i enjoyed that man i was proud of that because you know I, you know i was tired man i was just trying to have some have some fun there toward the end and so you know to come in second man i i enjoyed that uh, then we also did on the on the second day we learned about the car that was awesome just to learn about the car, different things about the car, where the where the, the jack pucks go, and and, and where the uh, where do, where do you how do you get into the car when you lose power? Those kinds of things, and the teachers were just so informative. They did a phenomenal job just teaching us. And as they, we also had a graduation where we were able to talk a little bit and share our experiences of the two days. I thought that was great as well to hear different people and how they felt about the school as well. So, um, man, if you have a new C8, you have to go to the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School. You have to go. I mean, it is, it, man, some people call it a bucket list. I call it a must do. You have to do this. And I, I just believe that you'll learn so much more about your car. When I came back, I have a newfound appreciation for this car. I'm gonna share this story with you then I get out of you guys' way. One of our uh, classmates was an engineer and he got choked up uh, because he started talking about the details that the engineers went through in order to produce this car. And I, it just, man, it did something to me. It did something to all of us to hear him as a professional talking about his colleagues in terms of just expose the, the tape on the sticky end. Take that off and then we'll take off the, uh, the other one. 
and we'll get this stuck right on. So then we get that, that, take that paper off that exposed the sticky end, discard that. And so I already lined them up, I already had them lined up. I, hopefully you guys can, can see what I'm doing here. And I, I put it down and just glued that bad boy right there in place, man. That's all it is to it. That is all it is to it. And so now it's just, just making sure that it's, it's stuck in place, just putting some pressure on it. So it makes sure that the seal is stuck in place. I'm just using these microfiber tiles just to, just to get it stuck in place. All right, and then there it is right there. So now I'll show you the, the before and then I'll show you the after. Boom. There it is, y'all. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and click that bell notification. That notification is really important because when I produce a new video, it notifies you, and then you guys come on. YouTube pays attention to all that. All right, you guys.